Hey, what is up guys? It's Arodi out here and welcome to another top 10 list. And in this top 10 list, I'll be counting down my top 10 most favorite Pokemon. However, this top 10 is a bit different if you couldn't tell by the title. This top 10, I am actually going to be only doing 5 Pokemon. And my friend, who's also a YouTuber by the name of Storm Chris, will also be doing another 5. So... Keep in mind that this list is completely opinionated, it is a favourite, it can be on, on a dozen different reasons. So if you don't agree with it, leave your own top 10 or top 5, whatever you want in the comment section below. I do reply and comment to, ev uh, re yeah, reply and comment to every single uh, comment you guys leave. So without further ado, why don't I just hand it over to Storm Chris. Hey guys, my name is Storm Chris, but you can call me Chris. And I'm joining Nick, also known as Aerodad, or however the fuck you pronounce his name in this top 10 video, but it's gonna be a unique top 10 video. He's gonna do his own top 5 while I'm gonna do my own top 5 and then we put them together and you do the math, 5 plus 5 equals a 10, which is our joined together top 10. Well, now that all the introduction is done and we all know what the fuck we're doing, let's get this shit rolling. Starting up my list at number 5 is Pidgeot. Pidgeot comes in at number 5 because of the memories I have with this Pokemon. Whenever I started my Pokemon adventure in any generation and it has a Pidgey, I must automatically get it because of the memories that I had in Pokemon Red. But also look at the design of it, it's so cool. And also I must admit, because of the previous playthrough, the first playthrough of Twitch Plays Pokemon Red and the amazingness that was Bird Jesus and how it just swept everything, it made me pretty much realize that this Pokemon is pretty good. I mean, I honestly don't care about stats or anything but still Pidgeot's pretty cool and that's why it's number five coming in at number four is Chimchar Chimchar is on this list because of a very special reason Chimchar was my starter in Pokemon Diamond but the funny thing about Pokemon Diamond is after the release of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and I beat them I never bought Emerald so I was stuck with both Ruby and Sapphire but I gave away my Ruby and Sapphire because, you know, life sucks. So for a long time, I didn't have any Pokemon games, let alone I didn't have a Nintendo GameCube so I could never play um, XD or, Ga or Coliseum. So when Pokemon Diamond came out along with the Nintendo DS, I went crazy for it and I bought it and instantly I fell in love. The adventure was so amazing and when I got to choose my starter, I didn't know who to choose. I was considering Turtwig, but mm, something about Chimchomp, Chimchomp, Chimchar called out to me. Maybe it's the fact that he's a monkey? Alright, my number three spot is the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo. Now, the reason why Mewtwo is number three is because I remember watching Pokemon the first movie and thinking, Mewtwo is such a dick. But then I began to think, hey, Maybe Mewtwo isn't really that bad. Maybe he's just misunderstood. Then I caught Mewtwo in Pokemon Red and thought, wow, this guy is amazing. He's just sweeping everything. And along with that, I also like Mewtwo's cool design. And he is the strongest Pokemon ever. And watching what he does in the anime is crazy. Plus, on an added note, he has the best quote ever that I believe everyone should fall upon. And here's the quote. I see now that the circumstances of, one births, of one's birth are irrelevant. It's what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. I believe everyone should follow that quote, that lifestyle. It doesn't matter who you are or how you came into this world. It's what you do with that life that determines who you are, if you really are a good person or not. Deep shit, Mewtwo. Deep shit. Mewtwo for President, 2016. Alright? My number two line is kind of cheap. Well, fuck it, I could do whatever I want. And you guys can flame me for this later. But my number two is the entire Charmander line, evolution line. I couldn't pick just one, so I just chose the, uh, the entire evolutionary line. Um, the reason why a lot of people like Charmander, of course, a lot of people chose Charmander as their starter because Charmander looks so cool. But it wasn't because Charmander was my starter when I first got my first ever Pokemon. I I actually chose Squirtle, and I was good with Squirtle, but whenever I played Pokemon Red, it was because it was my brother's save file, not my own, since we had to share everything. 
Um, and my brother always chose a Charmander. Then came one fateful day where my brother deleted his save file and he gave me um, his Pokemon Red and he said, beat the game, but under one condition, you choose Charmander. And I was thinking, this isn't fair, you're choosing my destiny. But I fell in love with Charmander. Sure, the first gym was hard, but still, I'd grown to love Charmander and then when it evolved into Chameleon and into Charizard in retrospect and, you know, I loved it. I loved the fact that Charizard was so powerful and all that. I loved how he looked like a mighty dragon, let alone not being a dragon. Plus, with the addition of Pokemon X and Y and, you know, Mega Evolution Charizard X, made him a dragon and made him think he was so cool. In fact, in my playthrough of Pokemon X, I made sure that I kept Charizard on my team throughout the entire game. Now, my number one most favorite Pokemon is Skeptile. Now, as I stated before, I never really owned a Pokemon game to myself, so my first one was Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Now, when I played them, I didn't know what to expect from that game. It was my first ever Pokemon game and I didn't know what to do. So I chose whichever Pokemon looked the coolest to me. And to me it was Trico, let alone in the animes Trico would look so cool because he had a twig in his mouth. But I chose Trico because he looked so cool and as I was playing the game Trico turned out to be a good Pokemon and he was always so fast and knew what to do so I just fell in love with Trico. And also, I know a lot of people are going to say Blaziken is the best starter in Hoenn. Actually, no. For me, it's Trico. And I'm actually waiting for Game Freak and Nintendo to release an update in Pokemon X and Y with Mega Evolutions for the Hoenn starters, not just Blaziken. Come on, Game Freak. Please. Mega Skeptile. Make it happen. Alright, guys. That's enough time we have for today. Um, be sure to subscribe to Nick's channel and show him some support and also don't be afraid to go to my channel my channel should be in the description below and don't be afraid to leave a like a comment and even subscribe I do Pokemon videos let alone I play other games I'm right currently now playing Pokemon Emerald and Kingdom Hearts so if you like Pokemon and Kingdom Hearts don't worry you can enjoy my channel and hopefully there will be a lot more collabs between me and Nick in the foreseeable future bye guys so now that Chris has all his lovey-dovey stuff out of the way, now it's time for my lovey-dovey stuff in my top 5 most favorite Pokemon. And in number 5, the space goes to Lantern. And a lot of you may be thinking Lantern, I mean like, who the hell thinks a Lantern? But I do have a story to go along with this. So my first ever Pokemon game was Pokemon Gold for the Game Boy Color. But I didn't have a Game Boy Color, I actually had the Game Boy Advance, so I just had this, this giant cartridge sticking out. But anyway, Lantern was actually part of my very first Pokemon team. So whenever I saw a Chinchou in there, or whenever, I don't even remember how I caught it, but I caught it, well obviously with a Pokeball, but I caught it, and I remember training up this Chinchou to a Lantern, it was part of my original team of six, and you can, you only get one playthrough for your very first time going through your Pokemon game, and you only get six Pokemon, or unless you want a solo run or something like that, you only get six Pokemon that, be, uh, that are part of your six, and Lantern was part of my six, and it was an amazing Pokemon, it could dish out damage like crazy, it could take hits like crazy, and all, all in all, I just love this Pokemon for the simple reason of nostalgia, I mean, what else can you really say, it's a favorites list, so number five goes to Lantern. So coming in at number four on my list is Ambipom. Now Ambipom is a Pokemon that kind of came out of left field for me. I've never really paid attention to Ambipom. I mean I knew it was a cool Pokemon and all but I never really paid attention to it until I watched a YouTube video by the YouTuber named Hayden where he actually did a Pokemon X and Wi-Fi battle and I saw Ambipom and I saw how amazing it could be. So I decided to give it a shot in my X and Y game and it actually clutched me the victory on a Wi-Fi battle that I did that I submitted to the uh, YouTube channel Lumio Station which actually brought a lot of subscribers here. So I guess I owe Ambipom a lot for this channel but Ambipom is just an amazing Pokemon. I mean it gets Technician which is the ability you most would like, would like to run. It gets Skill Link if you really want it to. Lens Fake Out, it gets Double Hit, it gets a lot of moves and I mean just how can you not like his face? I mean, he looks so cheeky. He's just got like this smug look on his face. And I don't know. I just really like Ambipom. It can dish out damage like a truck. Put a life orb on it. It can do even more damage. It can U-turn out of there. I mean, if you can even run Focus Sash on it. Because it isn't that bulky. I'll give it that. But it's not supposed to be bulky. It's supposed to be fast, speedy. Well, which is the same thing as fast. Um, it's supposed to attack like crazy. And then you pretty much get out of there. So number four goes to Ambipom. 
So we are now in my top three of my favorite Pokemon, and in third place goes to Walrein. Now, Walrein I have always liked, or more importantly, I've always liked this feel. However, my love for this evolution line hasn't really come out since... Uh, well, it came out really in our Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. If you guys paid attention, we did have a Celio by the name of Wop Wop. And this Celio, it wasn't part of our official team, but it did help us out through some tight spots. And I don't know why, but I love this guy so... Like, I, well, obviously I know why, but I love this guy so much. It is extremely bulky, Walrein especially. I know we didn't get a chance to use Walrein, because Celio, spoiler alert, did die before... Um, we, we got it to a wall rain. However, I have used it in my X and Y Wi-Fi battles, and it is a monster. It can eat up any hit, especially, like, fire moves. It can eat up, um, well, what else can think about? Ice, well, it's an ice type. It can, it's, it's pretty much a wall. You give it protect, toxic, I don't know, surf, ice beam, whatever you want. It, it is an amazing Pokemon. Extremely underrated. It is, like, I think it's an NU, which is a weird thing to see because it is such a good Pokemon. I don't know, if you guys ever watch that Let's Play, you will see how amazing this evolution line is, and yeah, don't have much else to say about Walrein, it is number 3 on this list. So coming in at number 2 may become as a surprise for you guys, it is actually Metacham. Now Metacham, I actually didn't really like at the start, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, well, it can't evolve 3 times, and for some reason as a little kid, if Pokemon can't evolve 3 times, you don't like it, well, that's what my thought process was. However, as soon as I found out its ability Pure Power and what it did, I... I pretty much love it. I know Huge Power does the exact same thing, but Metachan is the only one with pure power because it is the signature one, and goddamn, it's amazing. Not only that, its Mega Evolution is boss as hell. Granted, it can't learn a lot. It doesn't learn a lot of moves that it uses competitively without egg moves. I mean, like, what I run on mine is Ice Punch, Bullet Punch, um, what else? Psycho Cut, and I'm pretty sure those are egg moves. The only one that I keep is High Jump Kick. However, the damage this guy gives off is amazing. It is, like... I don't know why this guy is so underrated. I mean, it is an amazing Pokemon. Definitely my favorite Mega. Definitely my favorite Mega. And actually, if it wasn't for the nostalgic reasons that I have number one as, it would probably be my favorite Pokemon in general. So number two goes to Medicham. We are now at my number one on my favorite Pokemon. And this one, if you do know anything about me, shouldn't come as much as a surprise. It is Cyndaquil. Now, Cyndaquil, I do have a like a story to tell. I've already told this on another top 10 that I did, top 10 pre-evolutions. However, I will say it again. So, when I was younger, my sister used to do dance, and it wasn't like proper dance. It was like little kid dance. So, like spin around, touch your toes, turn around. There you go. There's a dance. Now, now just continue to do it, right? And this is around the time where I got Pokemon Gold. So. You know how I mentioned Pokemon Gold was my first ever, like, Pokemon game? Well, it was actually my second, like, I think it was my second game I ever had of all time, uh, before Spyro. But, um, Cyndaquil was always my starter. I remember seeing this guy, this little cute thing with his fire on its back, and I'm just like, well, I gotta pick it, I gotta pick it, I mean, why not? So I pick it, and every single time I'd always bring my Game Boy Advance there with Pokemon Gold, and I'd always play the hell out of it, and Cyndaquil was always there. I know it sounds stupid, but all I know is, I'd have to go five times a week, which was a, ugh, which was a pain. Not only that, on the Tuesdays and Thursdays, they'd have to perform. So there were two things that I'd either do. I'd either talk to this girl there that was like my friend, or I'd play Pokemon. Okay, and Pokemon was a major part. I mean, like, who needs girls when you got Pokemon? I mean, right, <laughs> right. Oh, anyway, so we'd go and Tuesdays and Thursdays would have to watch my sister dance. Okay, and I wouldn't want to watch my sister dance. So what I would do, I'd play Pokemon, and there was agony. I would be in complete agony, right, watching her dance. It was terrible, terrible. But Cyndaquil was always there for me. Like, I don't know, Quilava, Typhlosion, same thing. They're all amazing. However, Cyndaquil is the first one. I love it. It's there for every single bit of agony that I've ever been through with that dance. I don't know. I feel like a part of this Pokemon. If, if You guys may not understand it. I'm pretty sure you do with your favorite Pokemon. But god damn it, that's what I want to believe. That these, that... This thing loves me and I love it back. So Cyndaquil is number one on this list. So that has been our top 10 of our top 10 most favorite Pokemon. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Really helps me out. Big shout out to Storm Chris for joining me in this top 10, top 5 kind of video. His links will be in the description below, his YouTube channel and his Twitter. So make sure that you follow him. He does 
He's doing a Pokemon Emerald randomized and Nuzlocke challenge, and it actually is more randomized than mine because it actually has the trainers randomized and everything like that. He's doing a Kingdom Hearts series, play some Project M if you know what that is, Super Smash Bros mod. He's also doing a, um, so, well he's finished it now, but it's a Sonic Riders LP, so if you have any interest in that, feel free to check him out. Links will be in the description below. Um, feel free to leave any top 10s that you have or that you want to see in the comment section below because I don't want to spoil much but I do have some collabs planned later on in the future and I do want to do some more collabs with Storm Chris so feel free to leave any in the description below um, follow our Twitters if you haven't links will be of both of us will be in the description below don't have much else to say this has been a Rodiad I'll catch you guys later peace